everyone, Remin X here, and it's uh, about that time we're going to talk about the state of the game uh, because we've got a new year coming upon us. We're waiting for some guidance as to what to expect. There's a lot of data mines floating out there, but I'm going to give you kind of a short list of things that I think are very important. And uh, there, a lot of these have been renewed uh, because of recent uh, revelations. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, about what I think is part of the of the problem here. And so uh, we accidentally backed into the formula that I think they're using for the cores to gold ratio. It's basically one core equals 500 gold from the gold orbs. And I feel like they're using that as a valuation for the gear and, and whatnot. And so this is going to go hand in hand. We're going to talk about the the premium currency and then the gold currency in the game. Both of these are impacted by factors that may or not may not be in your control, uh, are used in almost every single scenario, and are probably some of the hardest to acquire. So we're going to talk a little bit about it. So I think they need to do something with the arena. They tried to fix the arena with changing the way that the you were able to engage your opponents and whatnot. But if you look at the reward structure, it really hasn't been touched. So um, what happens here is if you look at the top 10, the variance on it is about 200 cores. That 200 cores, by the way, and the, uh, the top 10 is the difference between being able to farm the ISO node to get ISO green. And so when I was looking at all the things that I was recommending players do to be able to advance their account and to do what Jason Bender said, which was move that dial and move more people towards the end game faster. Then I realized that the core budget was part of the problem. An arena just doesn't feel great. And we're not going to call out colluders because it's become part of the culture. But I want you guys to understand if you're working with your arena shard, there are people that you're excluding. Whether or not you think you've issued invites, people may not want to participate because their ethics, their personal ethos don't allow them to. More importantly, it's a gray area which a lot of people aren't comfortable treading, but the last piece of the puzzle is it's a global game. And if you're not able to engage them in their native language, their native tongue, and bring them into your group, then you may be leaving some people behind. Now, I will say that at the end of the day, the core budget is part of, of it. The last thing, the, 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 the other thing about it is it's never been more relevant to me that with two level cap increases, we haven't really seen a exceptional increase to gold. And how we know that is in order to bring up the characters to be able to do the, the content that we need them to, the magic number is 85. Uh, at, at, in the end game, things are just getting deleted. There's a lot of RNG involved and it's causing a lot of frustration. And if we could, you know, flex out characters, uh, have additional characters on our roster to, to make those changes. We just don't have the agency we, we need to do that because we don't have the gold gold we need. And so we're going to talk about a big problem. If you bring up a character that doesn't have value in raids or arena, you've wasted gold. Now you're going to say, well, Rem, I'm in a top 25 alliance and I bring up my war offense and war defense teams. Yeah, you also click that buy button a lot of times. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm also guilty of it as well. But at the end of the day, there just isn't enough budget to keep it sustained. Cores and gold need to be addressed more readily than ever. With teal gear being predominantly something that you're getting from this gold shop when you're refreshing it. And for those people who are going in there and looking at trying to buy miasma, and remember this, this is a big change Taking, you know, so if you needed one, you have to buy four. This is a big deal. You're basically forcing people to, to spend extra gold to attain certain goals. And so the carrot's been kind of dangling out of our reach here. So number one, gold and core budgets need to be addressed. I think arena, the gold orb needs to be looked at and make it 750 gold, something about a 30% increase in gold across the board. Uh, would help a lot and, and bring up people's roster. Okay. 
Number two, and I, I really had a hard time with number two. And no, I, I, not that I need more fiber in my diet for those of you guys who are thinking about that right now. Number two was something that I was struggling because I, I really pulled the community to kind of get the pulse. And because it, for me, it might be different than others. And so I, I want to talk about a major problem that is still a frustration element in this game. We're going to be approaching 200 characters uh, in Marvel Strike Force. And realistically, red stars are still a gamble. I didn't say gambling, a gamble. And uh, with the way that power increase has happened in this game, not getting good red stars on a character could feel like you've wasted time, effort, energy, money, trying to build up a character that's quickly outclassed. And that is something that needs to be addressed. And so I'm gonna say out loud, the biggest problem we've had is when a character is coming to the elite promotion store because of the current way that things were working, that character might already have a counter and become less useful. So the current pace is about five to six weeks. Um, that needs to be trimmed to about two and a half to three weeks. Uh, and you'll see that that will probably increase you know, the, the, the people's response to, you know, I didn't get a good red star, I'm quitting the game, or the, the, the bad feelings of that. It's just the duration between a, when a character, the window, which a character is useful, is smaller than it ever has been in Marvel Strike Force. Maybe not useful, meta. So it's something that you may want to take a look at uh, from that perspective. So I think there needs to be a, a, a red star overhaul Dark promotion credits are interesting, uh, but you could see that uh, I'm in no rush to start saving for Dormammu, who's, and again, I, I am, you know, he's already countered in a lot of game modes. So the last thing I want to talk about is kind of an unfulfilled promise, and, and I, I really need to kind of hit this home, is this game is a, is a community-based game. The 24 people uh, in your alliance, counting yourself, the... The community that's, that's here on Twitch and YouTube that's sharing ideas and now uh, the discords and, and whatnot that you can access to this tab, there's just something missing. And what I'll say to that is, is we never, never given the Alliance leader tools to help with this frustration. And it's because raids have become more important than they ever have been. Putting Silver Surfer in the milestones, Teal gear and a large portion of it as part of the Doom 2 raids has become something where you're dividing these 24 people on a regular basis. And it's okay because maybe they need to find more homogenous people with the same mindset, same spend set. It's better for them if they're probably with folks. It's not like, you know, it's not like they can't talk anymore. You could probably still hang out in the Discord chat or whatever. And like friendships have to end when you leave the alliance. Don't forget that alliance leaders, because sometimes they come back. But at the end of the day, the tools we have to be able to analyze rosters, take a look at their performance in previous raids, identify where they spent their resources. So we can even if we invited somebody to the alliance, it's a long process to see if they've built up the right characters to be able to do the doom raid to begin with. And alliance leadership uh, captains and leaders have very little um, time on their hands, and so. So they're, they're being forced in this window where they're managing a lot of uh, moving parts from war all the way to raids. It's becoming apparent that we missed the mark somehow on giving the tools that make a difference. I'm glad we can finally track keys a little bit better, or can we? Uh, but that's a whole nother story. Now, overarching principle here is that Marvel Strike Force is prone to bugs. Marvel Strike Force is prone to bugs. Now, it could be the fra fragile infrastructure, it could be the release, the breakneck release pace of these characters, but it could also be that there's just something going on. And so there's a little bit of trust loss there. And I think the problem we have is problem, communication of problem, decision, communication of decision, and final resolution are taking way too long. And with the final resolution, we may get something in our mailboxes. Here's a gift 
for your patients without telling us what issue was resolved by it. And so I think that's the problem we have when we see this mail is we have no idea what specifically was the issue for compensation. And if it's taking two to three weeks for some of this or more for the Red Stars, we can use multiple man as an example. Uh, I had friends quit over the multiple man issue. It wasn't appearing in the Red Star orbs. People opened orbs and there was no direction as far as compensation occurring until well after. It seems like that's been something that has been fixed. Hopefully we can see that going forward. Now let's talk about the good news. Good news looks like you guys got some stuff cooking. And so the problem with that is, is there data mines? There's no official conversation saying, hey, here comes tower mode, or wait, you see what grand uh, tournament or grand arena looks like, grand tournament looks like, and let's get some excitement by this. This is why we've been having you build your rosters to a larger size. I get it. That's awesome. Repetitive dark dimension seems super cool. But if these are all things that are, you know, kicking down the field, uh, I think we're probably going to have a problem because people are going to get frustrated now that we know that these things might be in the works. And again, data mines don't always come to fruition. So I also think that's on us to kind of accept the fact that they're trying to build more fun into the game, more engagement, more, more things we can do and participate to potentially uh, alleviate some of the gear. Now, events, we're going to stay tuned. It seems like they learned from their uh, event mishap with Thanos giving. Hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens with this most recent magical uh, event coming up, and we'll have to see. But the three things, Golden Core budget needs to be addressed. Red Stars, the duration from which the promotion credits appear in the store to when the characters are initially available needs to needs to shorten and finally we need better alliance and uh, communication tools to celebrate really what's what's happening in the community because this community is magical and i thank you every day for being a part of it remember i do things so you don't have to and i'll always do it to take the burden off your shoulders and we have some more stuff coming for some of the characters this patch and uh, my personal take on what's important see you soon